right now did you just did you just hear me singing like that i did not know you were there that is so embarrassing holy shit i'm like actually mortified right now yeah so i don't know it's a cloudy day and i'm really uh lazy i'm feeling extremely lazy i just want to lay down I just want to lay down and I just want to turn off my brain for like 24 hours. I'm exhausted. You know, last night I, I had dinner with a friend and this morning I, I ran into some people at the gas station that I knew and my social battery is just like, I just need like two weeks of just be laying down in solitary confinement. I need to be like strapped down. And I thought what a perfect opportunity to watch Glee. Glee. I've been looking for things to watch and Glee is- I feel like it's this cultural monolith that I missed. I feel like there's a lot of things like that, like Tumblr and Vine. I just wasn't a part of that as a kid because I was too busy dissociating. <laughs> I just was too busy staring at the wall and like locking myself in the bathroom and laying on the bathroom floor. So I don't think I have watched a single episode of Glee. I've seen like- I, I just- like I know about it, obviously. I know about like Rachel Berry. That's the only character's name I can think of. Everything else, I'm just completely ignorant to. I know it's about like a glee club at high school and like people are singing. So what I've decided to do is try to binge the first season in 24 hours and take you along for the journey because I think it will be a journey. I'm really excited, but I'm also like dreading it because it is, I think around 11 hours. <laughs> There's like 22 episodes, 45 minutes each. Actually, I think it comes out to about 11 hours. So I'm gonna make myself something to eat and then I'll start the first episode. Uh, sorry. <laughs> All right, so I just finished the first episode and all I can think about is um, the bullet that I dodged. <laughs> this came out in 2009, meaning that I was like seven or eight. And I just know that if I watched that as <laughs> seven or eight, my like entire life would be different. Like I was already a mess. I would have been the mess. They would have made Oppenheimer about me. Like the singing, the drama, the acting, the like everything is just so over the top. There is so much going on. I'm gonna try to explain. So it starts with this bald guy. He's like the glee club teacher or whatever. And he's like groping on this boy. First of all, everyone in this is like 30 and they're playing 15 year olds. So he's singing the song with this boy who's supposed to be 15, is probably about 45. And he's like groping on him and Rachel Berry. We all know Rachel Berry, Leah Michelle, sees this, reports it to the principal, not because she was like looking out for other students. She reports it because he did not give her the lead that she wanted, gets him fired. And then Mr. Schuster takes over. He's the Spanish teacher. But I guess like the Glee Club was like disband, like just completely disbanded, it feels like. I'm not sure. I don't know what happened to that boy who the bald guy was like touching. I don't know why he didn't continue. He was singing pretty good. Um, I don't know where the hell he went. So Mr. Schuster takes over and five people sign up for his new Glee Club. It's called New Directions. It's Rachel Berry, obviously. Her, I don't remember her name, but she's incredible. Him, I don't know his name, but <laughs> he's great. I wanna say Kyle, but I know that's not his name. The super gay one and her. And they're the new Glee Club, but they're just like not great, I guess. So what <laughs> the advice that Mr. Schuster's given is like get some popular kids. Cause once pop like if the popular kids are doing it, then other people will follow. He's like, okay, that's genius. That's what I'll do. That's exactly what I'll do. But obviously the popular kids 
It's like stereotypical high school in the way there's cliques. I, like, I don't, I attended high school, but I was not there. I was like somewhere else. But like with this, there's like cliques and cool group, nerds, d dorks and dweebs, football players, cheerleaders, you know. And Mr. Schuster discovers that this boy, the fo he's the quarterback on the football team, Finn, he can sing. So what he does is he plants weed, which he got from the previous glee club captain guy teacher who got fired what his new job is is telling his doctor that he can't sleep so he just gets tons of medical marijuana and he just is a drug dealer so he he's given weed <laughs> by this guy mr schuster plants it in the locker of finn confronts him and says hey either you join glee club or you are going to jail, literally. <laughs> so obviously Finn is like, okay, I guess I'll join Glee Club. And then also Mr. Schuster is married, but he's married to, um, the marriage is not great. They are experiencing some marital issues. They've been together since high school. And naturally what Mr. Schuster and his wife think is, okay, we're having marital issues. We don't really like each other. You know what, we'll fix this. A baby. So she gets pregnant. He decides being a teacher doesn't pay enough to support a family. I'm gonna go become an accountant. He quits, he resigns. Rachel Berry's a freak. Rachel Berry is incredible. She's an incredible fucking character. And Leah Michelle does such an incredible job of playing her, it's crazy. But then I think she's the career advisor. She's got some incredible outfits. I think her name's Emily. She's got a major crush on Mr. Schuster for some reason. And she basically talks him into continuing being a teacher and being the head of the Glee Club. And that's not even, like, each character, there's just seems to be so much going on. Yeah, I don't know. I'm gonna just continue watching. I'm just so grateful that it, it passed by me as a child. I do think it would have influenced me in a very difficult direction. I also didn't understand this the, in the first episode, but I just saw at the very top of the second episode that her, Sue, just, let me get a better, there she is, love her. She just said that the principal in the first episode did say that if they don't place at nationals, he's cutting the program. Even though he said that it only cost $60, I think a month, and Mr. Schuster is paying for that. I don't know what that means. I don't know what the $60 is about. It's just like a program that can't they just like do it? I don't know. So there is something that they're working towards. They have a goal. This is supposed to be a 16 year old boy. I'll often yell at homeless people. Hey, how's that homelessness working out for you? Give not being homeless a try, huh? Maybe this time in B flat? You know something up? So Sue has a segment on the news now. So it's the next day. <laughs> I think I said that I wanted to watch Glee in one day, 24 hours. I don't know why I thought this. I've been like, I gotta go back to school for real because my math is awful. I said that it's 45 minute episodes, 22 episodes, that's 11 hours. No, it's like fully like 16 and a half. I'm like halfway through episode 10. But what has happened in the show so far? This show is pure fuckery. It is pure fuckery. They set out to make a show with as much fuckery as possible and they have done it. It is incredible. It's also horrendously bad. So Mr. Schuster's wife, who I said is pregnant, turns out I expected this because I know there's not gonna be a baby. I know, I think, I know that Mr. Schuster is going to end up with Emma, it's a hysterical pregnancy. She thought she was pregnant, went to get an ultrasound. Turns out she's not pregnant at all. So instead of being like, oh, uh, Mr. Schuster, I don't know, it's Will. I'm actually not pregnant, by the way. Yeah. 
She says, it's a boy. Oh God, what's her name? The president of the celibacy club, Finn's girlfriend. She gets pregnant and she tells Finn that it's his baby because they... <laughs> Finn has this thing that's like a really big part of his character that he just keeps on coming in his pants. It's like a big part of his character. He like kissed Rachel Berry, uh, immediately came in his pants. He got up and he was like, oh, I'm so sorry. Don't tell anyone about this and leaves. So Rachel's thinking, oh my God, I'm so embarrassed. Like he doesn't like me, but I think what he's thinking is she knew that he come in his pants. He's like embarrassed by that, but she doesn't know because she's just like a girl. Like she doesn't, she's, it's a reaction, I, I get it. But he come in the hot tub while they were making out him and the blonde girl. I don't know her name. I don't know any of these people's names. The cheerleader, Quinn, her name's Quinn. And then Quinn also wants to hide that she's pregnant. But Mr. Schuster finds out about this pregnancy and he tells his wife and his wife thinks, oh my God, I can just take their baby. And I'm gonna tell my husband, Mr. Schuster, that it's our baby. Like, th this is wild. Like, how is she supposed to fabricate this? And then also Quinn and Finn, well, actually, I never said this, Finn's best friend, Puck is the actual dad of this baby that Quinn's having. Quinn and Finn had never actually had sex, but Quinn and Finn's best friend Puck have had sex. I feel like it's slowed down a lot. Like the plot really isn't moving anywhere. Like the episode I watched most recently was about the boy in the wheelchair, I forget his name, but they did a song and performance where everybody was in a wheelchair, which was super, I don't know. And the song they chose was, ah, uh, God. The song they did was the Tina Turner one, ro rolling, rolling on the river. Um, yeah. And they also are raising money for sectionals. They have sectionals and that's like, I think it's like a local competition and that chooses whoever is going to regionals, which the whole point of this first season is to get to regionals. If they place in regionals, they get to continue doing Glee Club. And yeah, it's just been like a lot of random episodes like that. Just stuff where like the main narrative, the main plot just is kind of at a standstill, um, which makes sense because it is 22 episodes. Like they've kind of just got to fill it with something. Although the stuff that they're filling it with is very entertaining and very, um, in interesting, I don't know. It's shocking and jarring at times, harrowing, I, I would say. I, I think I'm about halfway through the season. There's so much more that I did not explain, but like, I can't, like there's so much going on. <laughs> The wickedly talented Adim Dazel. Okay. So, um, I'm about to start the last episode of season one of Glee, episode 22. I've made it 22 episodes, or 21. I've watched 21 episodes. I'm about to watch 22. I'm feeling so grateful or something. It just hit me how big of a moment this is. I want to do something special to go into this with a battle armor on. So I'm going to change my outfit and we're going to watch the last episode of season one of Glee. Now what's happening is just a lot, but also at the same time, absolutely nothing. I feel like the past couple episodes have just been them doing like side quests just kind of like waiting for this moment regionals i don't even know what that is i was never in anything that had to do like competitions at least not to this caliber because i'm a fucking loser 
um, Sue just went to nationals for cheer and won. So Glee has this extra pressure to, I guess, like meet Sue at this level because Sue's been going at them this entire time trying to get them to die. <laughs> she wants them to die. There's one episode where she tried to get the principal to send them all to New York with $35 because of Madonna, but it was just her way of getting rid of them. I think they just need a place in like the top three in regionals, I'm pretty sure. I don't think they need to win regionals, but they've been talking like they need to win regionals. Vocal Adrenaline is from this different school who has won regionals like the past couple of years. Adina Menzel is the coach for them, but we also found out that Adina Menzel is also Rachel Berry's biological mother. I doubt they're gonna win. I don't think they're gonna win. I think it's gonna be one of those things and they're going to be able to continue doing the, the glee, which is so important. It is, I think. I think that these people have like really found quite the refuge with this thing and with each other and it's very special. <laughs> so I'm gonna slip into something a bit more appropriate for this occasion and see how this all ends. Oh, also Quinn is going to have her baby. <laughs> So as you can see, um, I look great. I look maybe the best I've ever looked. And I took about 100% of uh, my inspiration from Kurt Hummel and Mercedes Jones because those are the only motherfuckers on that show who know how to dress. Rachel Berry, ugly. Finn, ugly. Quinn, ugly. Every single time Kurt and Mercedes Jones popped up on the screen, I gasped. Three characters wore the same cartoon ass cheerleading outfit every single scene they were in. So yeah, that's why I chose Mercedes Jones and Kurt Hummel. And this is the fit that I'm gonna be rocking while I watch the last episode of season one of Glee and I'm really excited. So yeah, I guess let's just jump into it and see how these um, Gleeks do at regionals. I don't know how this remote works. His parents found out she's pregnant so they kicked her out. I needed my Rachel was right. The 2010 Mid West Regional Runners Up from Fort Wayne, Indiana. The not at all stupidly named Oral Intensity. Ah! Who? And now, your 2010 Midwest Regional Show Flyer Champion. <laughs> So I'm not gonna lie, it's like, it, I think it's been like two days. I just think after experiencing that, I just needed to take a bit of a sabbatical. You know, I I, I thought it would be a, a cleansing experience and it was. It honestly felt like coming home from vacation when I finished that. You know, like when you come home and you're like, whoa, like I have to get back to my life now and like everything kind of feels so weird. But at the same time, it was like, it wasn't like a chill vacation. It was a vacation where you were like doing things every day and exploring and show tunes were blasting in your ear the entire time. But I just wanted to tell you how season one ends and end the video and give some final thoughts. So basically what happens is they lose. It turns out they did need to get first place in order for Glee Club to continue. But then Sue talks to the principal, Mr. Figgins. And a few episodes ago, she blackmailed Mr. Figgins by drugging him, taking him to her house, taking off all his clothes, putting him in her bed. She got in bed with him, full tracksuit on <laughs> and waited for him to wake up. And then when he did wake up, she took a few photos of them in bed together. And she basically tricked him into thinking that they had had sex. So... so she goes to Mr. Figgins and says, oh, by the way, you need to give Glee one more year, by the way. 
or I'm gonna release those sex photos. But also, there was one moment of sweetness. Because Sue has this segment on the news, she also was in the music video for Let's Get Physical. Like, um, Olivia Newton-John, RIP, was in an episode and she basically redid the music video for Let's Get Physical, but made Sue the star of the music video. So Sue's a celebrity. So it was celebrity judges for the regionals. Those celebrities included Josh Groban, Olivia Newton-John, the main news anchor, and Sue is also a judge. And when they're writing down the placement for who they think got first, second, or third, she put New Directions in first place, which was a really sweet moment that was very obviously just like, maybe Sue isn't all that she's cracked up to be. But then she goes to see Mr. Schuster and is rubbing it in his face that he is a loser and she won her nationals. He lost or got third place in his the re nationals, regionals, whatever the fuck for Glee. And yeah, I was just letting him know that he is a disgusting freak ass shithead uh, with ugly hair. But then she says, oh, by the way, I really like what you're doing with the kids, by the way. And you got yourself another year of glee. And then it ends with Mr. Schuster singing Somewhere Over the Rainbow to the glee kids. And that's the end. My overall thoughts on the show, you know, I... I, I don't know. Like, it still stands very true that I'm so... So grateful that I never watched it as a kid because I do think it would have been extremely harmful. Like, I think the commercial that should have been airing at that time was, do you see this egg? This is your brain. Cracks it, puts it in the hot pan, it sizzles. This is your brain on Glee. Drugs was not the issue that we should have been focusing on. It should have been Glee. That was obviously the bigger threat. That's a joke. That's a joke. I'm kidding. I know drugs are just bad and worse than Glee. But it's it. Dare I say close second. Thanks for watching. I think, or maybe I should say sorry. Sorry that I made you watch this. And yeah. Subscribe. Or yeah, do what you want. Bye.